No, this is not clickbait. This Honda is a real AMG model. The Mercedes-Honda collaboration dates back to the early 1980s, when Honda wanted to gain entrance into the South African market. Now South Africa is known for some of our really cool one-off models like the 333i, the 325RS and the Opel Cadet Superboss. We have some great, unique cars here. And this weird Honda is yet another example of rare and special South African only cars. So Honda wanted to sell to a South African market, but they weren't yet established in our country. Whereas Mercedes had already been here since 1948 and had established a strong brand in our country. In addition, Mercedes also had production facilities here, something Honda didn't have. Now, in the 80s, Mercedes wanted to sell a more affordable, budget-friendly model to the South African market, as the entry-level 190E was not cheap enough. So this was ideal. Mercedes would win because they would be able to sell this car for a cheaper price to a different market and Honda would also win as they would gain entry into the country. So the deal was made and shortly after you would be able to find the Honda Ballada in Mercedes-Benz showrooms. Now this had an interesting effect. You see Mercedes profited since they sold many many units. As the Ballada was a very popular car in our country. But it also gave the people the perception that Hondas are a cheaper brand that offers the same type of quality as Mercedes. Now for the cool thing. AMG, the biggest Mercedes tuning house of the 80s and 90s, also worked their way into this collaboration. And this was the result. To most, this just looks like a Civic with mags, but here in South Africa it's called a Ballard. And this specific one is an AMG Ballard. What makes it different? Well, I'm glad you asked. The AMG Ballard, four-door sedans used versions of the B16 and B18 engines with lowered a bus suspension. Now the Honda B16A unit found in this Ballard made 173 horsepower after AMG tinkered with them. Cosmetic enhancements were limited to either 15 inch or 16 inch wheels with a boot spoiler. So if you ever see a Honda with an AMG badge before you call the guy an idiot, maybe it's a legit car. Now I personally own an EG Ballard and they are really luxurious for how old and cheap they are. And no jokes, I love my little Honda. My personal one has a B20B engine from a Honda CRV. But sorry, I digress, this video isn't about me and my crap. Back to the weird collaboration. Now I can't find any information on how many AMG models were sold, neither on how much they went for back in the day. Now Mercedes discontinued the Civic based Honda Ballard in 2001, so all Ballards after that aren't built by Mercedes. By the way, before I end off this video, AMG built more than just the Civic. They made a Galant AMG model that featured a 2 liter naturally aspirated dual overhead cam 4 cylinder engine that they changed a whole lot of. They changed the pistons, upgraded the cams and valve springs and raised the compression. They also retuned the car and raised the red line to 8000 RPM. As a result, this thing made 168 horsepower out of a naturally aspirated 4 banger. The car was also just available in metallic black with the AMG badging. Before Mercedes bought 51% of AMG, the company did some cool stuff. If you want to see more on the pre-merger AMG, watch this video. Anyways, let me know what you think of this car and this video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like the video, you'll like the other stuff on my channel. So just go through it, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.